Hey ladies, um, I am coming today, well you can say this is kind of like my first crafting video. I wanted to share you, with you guys um, the latch hook kit I purchased that I showed you guys in my Michaels and Joann's haul. I got this in Joann's, like I said it was on clearance for three, um, let me check, $3.97. Like I was explaining in my other video, they're usually... Depending on the size of the box, a small box can cost either five to ten dollars. Um, these big ones can cost anywhere from around twenty to fifty, sixty dollars, depending on the size. This is kind of like a medium sized. Um, so this one usually is like around twenty dollars. Okay, and the size of this box, the the craft is fifteen inches by twenty. Okay. And I'm going to move the camera real quick to show you guys this is what the box looks like. The company's name is Wonder Art and it's called Latch Hook Kit. And um, what it brings, it says tools not included, which it means by the Latch Hook Kit, which is this. Um, usually the smaller ones bring it or used to bring it. I'm not sure if they do anymore. Um, if not, you have to purchase this separately um either in Michaels or Anna's or Walmart. This I got mine at Walmart. Or you can get it online. Okay? But again, this is the latch hook kit. So I'm gonna be showing you guys what it consists of and how to do it. And later on I will do videos on my progress with the latch hook kit. Again I purchased two because they're on clearance. Okay, I've done this one before, but since I moved, it got lost. So, this is one of my favorite patterns with the little teddy bear. The good thing about this is that you could either make it into a rug or a pillow. Or what I used to do, I just used to hang it on the wall. Okay? But you do whatever you like. Like I said, you can make it on a pillow or a rug. Or in my case, I would hang it on the wall. Alright, so I'm going to show you real quick what it consists of. Okay? This is the box. Okay? It has plastic cover covering over it, but I took it off just to open it, okay? Again, this is not included. You have to buy this separately. Okay, um, let me see. Okay, this is how you, you open it, and it consists of these little pieces of yarn. Let's see, there, the box stays open. These little pieces of yarn, each one is the same length. Okay, and they're all different colors. You could either leave them here, or in my case, what I do is I split up the colors. So let's say all the blues, I put them in a plastic baggie, and I keep them there. All the whites, separate baggie, all the browns, the pinks, etc. Alright, so for now, I'm leaving them here because I just opened it. So once I finish this video, I'm going to sort them out in different colors, okay? So again, this brings enough for the project and I believe it brings a little bit extra just in case you lose one um but you know I've never had a problem myself so it's good um it comes with instructions okay it tells you how to use it okay each pattern right here I'm gonna show you right now the color key this is the color key each little square consists of a shape inside each little shape inside means a color like the square, the white square is white. The square with the black inside is a blue. The circled one is light pink. The circle with nothing in it is pink. Oh, well, this one's light pink. This one's pink. The diamond is honey. The little slash is a brown. And the little squiggly line is a dark brown. Okay, so from there on, you start picking the colors. This would be the brown, the honey, the black, the pink, the pink, the light pink, the blue, and the white, and so forth. Okay? Um, this is the color key. Let me see if I can open this here. The color key. Okay, and this shows you how to do the latch hook, how to make the pattern. So again, each pattern, each little key that you see here is a color. Like the black one right here is a, the, the blue. What I usually do to make it more easier on me, I count all the little squares. See, from there on, I knew each one was 10, and it got to 66. And from up, I counted 50. So I did that because sometimes 
um, the way they have the color on the little material, they don't make it exactly in the center. So you have, in my opinion, or in my the way I do it to make it easier on me, I make it so um, it's centered. So like again, I count the little squares and I put one little strand in each corner. Okay, so I'm going to show you how it looks now and I'm going to show you how you do it. Okay? So I'll be right back. Let me put these things away and get ready, okay? Alright guys, I'm back. Um, the, This is the material you're going to be working on to make your canvas. Okay? Um, let me see if I can find the name of it because I'm, I'm not really sure. Um... This is just latching diagram. I'm guessing that's the instructions, but it doesn't really show a name of how of what the name is. Um, it says. Let me see. I'm guessing it's like a canvas where you can put your strings. Oh yeah, it's um the canvas. That's what it's basically called. So the canvas, you know, it comes out. As you can see here, it has. Let's see how I'm gonna do this because my, my space is very limited. Right, as you can see, you can see the outline of the little teddy bear again. You can follow that as the color coordination, like it's blue, you know, the blue, the the honey, the black, the pink, the light pink, you know, the honey, etc. Um, for me, I don't follow that because it's very confusing. So, like I said, I count the little spaces. Here, yeah, just because I have my fan on, so it's blowing the paper. I count my spaces, and I go from there. Okay. All right. Um, another thing that it shows you how to do is let me see if I can fold this the right way. It shows you basically how to how to do the the procedure, how to use the tool. Okay. These are the instructions. After the first few times I the first time I did it was very confusing. I used to do this in middle school because it was a project that we were supposed to do. And that's how I found out about this kit and after that I really loved it. Alright. It shows you how to do the, the latch hook and for me when I did it from reading these instructions it was a mission. It was horrible. I was about to give up until my mom helped me and you know we figured it out. It comes in English I'm guessing that's French and Spanish instructions okay and also it includes you know it, it basically tells you how to start and everything and it shows you how to make the rug the instructions for the rug the illustration and how to keep it clean as well as for the pillow cases the pillow shows you how to make it how to clean it and again in English French and in Spanish okay so, I'm going to show you real quick how to, you know, make, how to use it. Okay, let's see how I'm going to do this because, like I said, I really don't have that much space on my table. Mind the noise in the background. Those are my kids playing. Alright, so I'm going to keep it folded here because this is the beginning. Okay, so let me just kind of get situated. Okay. Let me see if I can zoom it in. Okay. To make it easier for you guys to see. Alright, this is the latch hook. You're going to put it in the little square. Like I said, this is the corner. I already did it on all four sides. Okay. So you stick it in the hole next to it like this. And you make sure this little hook is down because if not it's going to be very hard okay what you do now is since I know it's all blue the bottom is blue you get your little yarn you lift it up okay you put it together you don't tie it you just put it together like this okay you see it's not focusing alright what I do to make it easier on me is hold them together with one finger let me see do this with the camera. I move the lash hook 
to the side like that okay this is where it gets kind of tricky if you don't know what you're doing okay you pull this down okay so when you're pulling down the little lever is gonna go up so when you do that before you pull all the way you move it inside the little hook okay so it closes see and you just pull and there you go that's how it looks and you just tug on it to make it tighter okay and that's how it should look okay so I'm gonna do another one just for you guys to see okay again you grow or another thing you can do what I used to do to make it easier on me I just wrap it around before putting in let's see if I can do this in the camera okay you lift it up okay you put it up you move it up and pull down the little lever starts going up okay it pulls you let go and you pull all the way okay so that's how it should start looking and when you turn it over let me see you can see this design on the other side like that it looks blue all right so guys, I hope I, I, you know, it interests you that I'm doing this little crafting project. Um, like I said, I'm going to do videos on updates on how my project is looking so you guys can see. And I don't know if I'm just going to hang it on the wall or I might actually try for the first time to make it either in a rug or a pillow. So, you know, um, alright guys, I hope, you know, you actually like this idea. And I do want to get into more crafting projects. Um, I'm not really much of a, I love crafting, but, you know, there's some things that I'm not very creative with, so, you know, I want to start looking up on things that I could actually do, so I can do some crafting items, or crafting ideas, and I can show you guys on camera, alright, so, thanks for watching, any questions, please don't hesitate to ask, I will answer them, as to the best of my knowledge, okay? So, thanks for watching. Until the next one. Bye.